Hey everyone, it's Melody with Design by Melody. I'm here with another Project Life page for you. <laughs> Go figure. I've done a lot of these here recently because I am working my way through the photos that I have already printed. So I actually realized in a video I had um, posted, I think at the beginning of the year, my goals and planning video. I thought I only had a few pages worth of photos printed, left or um, printed already. Wait, left. I thought, I mean, how do I, how do I phrase this? I thought I only had a few photos print left that were already printed to scrapbook. There we go. Wow, I had a hard time getting that out. <laughs> but I end up having about 30 pages worth. So I'm going to go ahead and scrapbook those, but I am in the process of ordering more photos. That was one of my goals for this month was to go ahead and order. I had said December 2018 as well as keep up with January, but what it's happening so far is that I'm actually working through the rest of 2018, I had already kind of sort of planned February and March, but didn't print the photos yet. So that's kind of what I'm going back to do. So today I did February 2018, and I'm going to try working on March because I could potentially be done printing all of 2018 by the end of this month if I really like work my way through it. I work early in the mornings, and if I don't have a couple, if I have a student that doesn't show up, then I have about a 30 minute kind of break where I'm just waiting to see if they show up so I can do some computer work. And that's what I did this morning was go ahead and order some of the actually I printed them because I printed the ones from this morning on my life printer. Don't even need to order those. I actually just printed them smaller on the life printer. So I went ahead and printed all of February 2018. Now I don't want to do a ton of printing on my life printer because they are smaller photos and you don't get the clean crisp look of the photos that you can see on the page that I'm doing today but kind of for the everyday little photos I think it's actually kind of nice to have the life printer available to print from. I eventually probably will invest in a home photo printer but I haven't got there yet maybe I will eventually. Right now, Shutterfly and Snapfish still work really well for me. So I'm just sticking with that for the moment. So the very first thing I'm doing, this is the last layout I'm going to do with this dash kit that you're seeing. This is the stash kit that I had said I was going to work with next. And I've already pulled out another kit that I'm going to be working with. And I've already done a page with that. So I'll be sharing that here with you in the next couple days or so. So you can see what I'm working with next. Again, it's something from my stash, but it's a different type of kit. It's not a fully created kit just for my stash. It's a kit where I had one. I actually had Kaylin pick out a kit for me to work with and then I bulked it up a little bit with a couple things from my stash. I also did a project where I went through some of the supplies that I just had um, kind of like the random little bits that you always throw in that little bin where you don't know whether to keep it or get rid of it or use it or whatever. And so I've kind of created a different way of organizing those and potentially using those. So I'm going to be sharing that with you too in the next couple days. I've got a couple things I've been working on. I've really like gotten into the groove of things and I'm really, really enjoying it. I find it very fun. One of my goals for this month was to do, or one of my goals for this year was to be creative and do something creative every single day. It doesn't have to be scrapbooking. It can be anything, but I've really kind of taken that to heart and I'm working on some sort of project every single day. I posted something on Instagram the other day. If you don't follow me, I always have all of my social media links um, below. So go down and check it out. But I posted a thing on Instagram the other day where I was working on refinishing like a wire rack. And so I was trying to do it, but it was just too windy. So it didn't work out. But it's um, things like that, that I'm just kind of doing every single day. That's what I find fun. So um, I'm kind of taking the opportunity to do a few of those things. Okay, so this layout, as you can see, is kind of like the last one. I felt like I was going super slow when I'm scrapbooking. And I don't know, I've been watching TV recently, or not really TV, but Netflix, when I've been scrapbooking. And so I'm wondering if that's slowing me down. I don't typically watch anything. I'll watch YouTube or I'll listen to YouTube. I don't really watch it when I'm scrapbooking. I'm more listening to it. Um, and so usually I have a faster speed. It's either me watching Netflix while I'm scrapbooking, which is causing me to be a little bit slower, or... Sorry, I had to pause there for a second because I had to sneeze. But it's either... The fact that I'm watching a little bit of Netflix instead of just listening to like vloggers that I watch and things like that, or it's the fact that I'm sitting on a chair now instead of standing. And I don't know, I think maybe when I was standing when I was scrapbooking, I had a little bit more urgency in my scrapbooking because I'm like standing and I'm aware of the fact that I'm standing versus when I'm sitting at my desk, I'm a little bit more relaxed, a little bit more laid back, and I might actually be scrapbooking at a slower pace. 
it's not that big of a deal, but I have totally noticed it. It's interesting to me. I also have much more time now to scrapbook. So it could just be that I'm just taking my time and kind of letting the creative juices flow instead of being like, okay, I have an hour, I'm going to do something for this hour. It's more like, okay, well, I think I might do some scrapbooking today and just going with it. Now school starts back um, in the next day. So um, my schedule will be a little bit more structured again. So that may change a little bit, there might be a little bit more of a time crunch. And some of my time that I have allowed for scrapbooking. But for the last three weeks, it's really just been kind of a go as you go kind of thing. Because since I work from home, and Kaylin's been home, I really have not had much of a time crunch on anything. I've really kind of been able to do things at my own pace, which has been extremely nice. I have found that I'm actually wandering into my office a lot more frequently throughout the day just to kind of piddle around, do a little something here, do a little something there, look at photos, pull out products, things like that. And it's really, I've really, really enjoyed it. I've kind of, I never really got away from scrapbooking, but things just get busy. And sometimes I kind of lose a little bit of my drive to scrapbook just because I've, I'm busy. And it's really been kind of nice over this holiday season to have a lot more time at home, have a lot more time where you just kind of stay in because it's dark or there's it's a holiday and you don't want to be out with all the crazy shoppers and things like that. So I've really just been enjoying the opportunity I've had to kind of be in my, my office and scrapbook a little bit more. And I just find it fun to really go through my albums. I've been doing a lot of looking through my albums here recently, and I really like that. I think I am going to have to separate some of my albums. I had mentioned that before because some of them are just too thick to flip through. And I still haven't even tested the um, Hobby Lobby ones to see if they're bigger. That was one of the things I had said I was going to look at when I was doing my goals and plans for January 2019. I need to check and see if that one truly is bigger and holds more. If it's just the fact that the cover may be a little bit thicker, so it looks bigger. I'm not sure. <clears throat> but that'll probably be something I, I look at in the next few days whenever I go look to see what kind of coupons are on Hobby Lobby's um, app and go pick up a layout. I mean, I'm not a layout, an album or two. On this particular layout, I had a lot of these acetate pieces left in the kit that I had made. Um, and they were a, I think it was a Gossamer Blue set that had come in a kit that I had did not use totally. I think it was Gossamer Blue. I think so. Um, but they're, uh, they're summer themed. And so like there was the words that spelled out fun. There was one that said, um, bring on the sunshine, one that said hello adventure and things like that. So I'm, I'm using a couple of those. I did not use all of them that came in the, in the pack, but I am using a few of those here on this particular layout. So there were beach photos, of course, that you can see actually a lot, all of these are beach photos, but some of them were at night. The two that I'm working on right now that are much darker were at night. And so I'm using that fun to kind of brighten up that one photo. You cannot really tell what it is, but I do on one of the little labels that I use, put the caption on there that tells you what it is. We were um, crab hunting one night when we were camping and that was so much fun, but the kids really got into it because they had these headlamps that they were wearing and then they had their buckets where they would go, um, like flip it on the crab they would like go put the um bucket on top of the crab and then we would come over and flip it with our hands so the crab would then be in the bucket it was so much fun and it was just fun to kind of run around on the beach at night as long as you're with you know adults that can make sure that nobody gets too close to the water the tide was out and so the beach was very very wide and it was just kind of fun to run around we do a lot of beach time during the day, of course, in the sun, but that gets to be exhausting. When you're out at the beach at night, it's not quite as exhausting, so it's kind of it's kind of a nice little change. Just trim down that yellow, not yellow, orange label a little bit to have it fit on that photo and not take up quite so much space, but still be able to do a little bit of journaling on there. I'm actually using a lot of orange elements on this page, and I'm not a big orange person like when it comes to scrapbooking or really anything in life I don't have I don't really have any orange clothing or anything like that so um I thought it was kind of nice to mix in some of that orange with the yellow as well as some of the green and the pink as well so um I just kind of like the balance of colors the fun the word fun has it's kind of a yellow ombre to orange and so it really kind of allows for these colors to be mixed very seamlessly on this particular layout 
still using that Reset Girl sticker sheet that I'm absolutely loving. In the current time, I did this layout about three or four days ago. In the current time, I've even used more of that particular sticker sheet than I have at this point. So I'm definitely down to like a half of one page. It was first a tri-fold page and I've used at this point that you can see it, the right side of the trifold is already completely used up and torn off. And then the second side is, you know, just has five or six stickers on it or so. And I've already used all of those as well as most of the stickers on the left side. I've got to figure out how to make some of these myself. I absolutely love them. And I still haven't checked out the Reset Girls website to see if she offers the, um, the printables to be able to print and cut yourself. However, I don't have a silhouette. So that's just something to think about for the future. Um, but anyways, I was super excited to use that explore rubber rubber banner right there because it was the last one of the pack and I'm not a big, um, green scrapbooker either. I'm, I'm not opposed to green. It's just that I don't typically use a lot of green because it's just not a color that's in my normal scrapbooking. Um, but it worked really, really well with the orange and the yellow. And of course the, um, the saying itself fit really well with the fact that I was sitting there looking for, I was actually looking for shark's teeth in this particular picture. It's just a picture of me leaning down, staring at the ground, <laughs> looking for shark's teeth in the um, pile of shells that were on the ground. And we did find one, actually. We found a really tiny, sharp, like razor sharp one. <laughs> My mom kept it. It was one of those, we were looking for one that you could potentially put on a necklace. And whenever we found that one, it's like, okay, yeah, you can't use that on a necklace. You're going to stab somebody or yourself with that. So, um, but it was fun either way to, to look for it. Uh, there was a kid from a different family that was sitting there looking for it with us. And he found like two or three while we were standing there. I was totally jealous, totally jealous. But I guess you have an eye for it. Once you find one, you get an eye for it and you, um, and you just can spot them. And he apparently goes out there all the time and looks for them. So I don't have a ton of embellishments on this particular page so far. There's a lot of little tiny elements where I've got stickers and labels and, um, these, of course, acrylic pieces that I've been kind of scattering about, but there's not really a ton of embellishment. If you think about it, I don't have a lot of die cuts. It's really just labels and um, a few little bits and pieces here and there, a couple of the banners and, and things like that. Now, as you can see, I have pulled out the LA Studio label pack or label four by six um, container here a few times for this layout. And Whenever I talk about, whenever I share the video with you where I do the little desk organizational thing that I've kind of changed up, you'll see what I'm talking about because one of the things that I'm talking about in that video is the fact that I don't have any labels necessarily at the ready and I have to constantly pull out the little storage bin that holds on my labels, which again is a nice way to have them stored, but it's not necessarily a quick usable way. Um, and I'm definitely a scrapper with what's on my desk. I don't, I don't really go sorting through my stash in the middle of a layout unless I'm looking for a really specific thing that I absolutely am set on using. That happens very, very rarely. Usually I just use whatever kit I'm working with. Now I make a lot of stash kits, which is pulled for my stash obviously and I use pre-made kits but I almost always work from a kit it's just easier for me to have a smaller set of supplies I will periodically make page kits for my stash um just kind of depends on what mood I'm in. Sometimes I'm really in the mood to just sort through my supplies and that's a really good time to make a page kit. Uh, I just prefer to make stash kits though where you could take one kit, um, a larger set of supplies and make four or five layouts with that particular kit. That's kind of my preferred method of scrapbooking. Let me know what you guys, how you prefer to scrapbook. Do you like to work within a kit? Do you like to kind of have all of your stash at your, at your hands and have options, all like uh, endless options? Or are you better with, you know, a particular page kit Kit instead of necessarily a full stash kit. Just curious. It's always interesting to me how different people, you know, work in different ways. Um, but mine, a lot of mine has to do with my mood. It just really depends on my mood, which way I feel like, you know, scrapbooking just really depends on my mood. One of the biggest things though, that I am focusing on for January is photos and making sure that I'm of course taking enough photos and second of all, printing photos. So I have them available to scrapbook and that is going very, very well thus far. Um, so this video is going up on Tuesday. Yes. Okay. I had to think about when this video is actually going up. Um, 
And so at that point, I'll probably already be done with my next kit that I'm working with just because it's only going to make three or four layouts just like the last two have done. But that's just enough time for me to work with some supplies and not get bored with it. Um, but it also kind of at around, you know, layout four or five, my mind starts wandering a little bit to like, okay, what am I going to use next? And then I can't focus on what I have. So I think it's kind of a really nice thing to have these smaller kits that I've been working with. I do have a couple 12 by 12 layouts that I need to work with though and a lot of the pre-made kits that I have the kits I have in my stash are project life um, or traveler's notebook based so I'm thinking I might need to go ahead and build a stash kit that's more 12 by 12 layout focused let me know if you guys are interested in seeing that process I probably will share it but let me know if that's something you're interested in seeing my kit unboxings or shares like my stash kit shares are by far some of my most popular videos um but I'm just curious to see like the ones who are watching my actual layouts, do you prefer to actually see the unboxing as well? Or is that a completely different audience that's, um, that's viewing those? Just curious. It probably won't change my mind. I'll probably still share the kits, um, the um, kits as I put them together, just because it's a different way to share, you know, something that's involved in scrapbooking. But I am curious to see what you guys who watch my layouts are actually interested in seeing as well kind of looking at this layout going okay what's you know what's next what do I need because I'm kind of feeling like I'm done with it but you know you always have that moment where you're like okay am I just done with it because I'm tired of working on it or am I done with it because it looks good and I realized I didn't staple down that little tab so I'm stapling it up there to that top photo just taking one last final look and then that's actually going to finish it out for this layout I hope you guys have enjoyed this process I will be back soon with another layout for you guys and also that organizational video that I had mentioned is just a quick little video but it's something I wanted to share all right I will talk to you soon and thanks for joining bye